<laughs> Hi everyone, this is a video tutorial for the reaction of an ether that results in the formation of a stable carbocation intermediate. So what we have here is our ether group. The R prime is designated here just to make sure you understand that these R groups do not necessarily have to be exactly the same. So much like an alcohol group, this ether can react with HX, where HX represents either HBr or HI. It does not have a reaction with HCl, it goes way too slowly. Additionally, because of the slow startup that ethers have, we will have to incorporate heat in this reaction. At the end of it, out of it we'll get an alkyl halide and we'll also get an alcohol group. So now this is going to follow an SN1 mechanism, so let's take a look at it. Okay, so let's take a look at this mechanism. So over here we have our ether. Remember, you can identify it's an ether because we have two R groups separated by an oxygen. So now the first step is that the oxygen with its lone pairs will come and attack this hydrogen, breaking the bond with the I. So what we form then is this protonated ether. This group here now is primed for one or the other of these bonds breaking and forming a carbocation. Remember, we will form a carbocation because we have a stable intermediate. So I'm going to preferentially choose to have this bond break because if this is the bond that breaks, I form a benzylic cation, which is very stable. If it had been the other bond that we had shown breaking, you would have formed an aryl cation, which is very unstable and will not do an SN1 or an SN2 mechanism. So once I form my stable carbocation, my iodide group can come and attack this carbon. So I get two products out of this. I get my alcohol and my alkyl halide. 